ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk inner and outer tie rods used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. To be able to change the inner and outer tie rods on your vehicle, you must lift the front of the car and remove the wheels to gain complete access to the steering system. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels, raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. You can now see the outer tie rod end. These elements can often get jammed, so use the penetrating oil to facilitate the operation. With a marker, trace a line between the axle joint and the tie rod end. It will help later during the disassembly and reassembly process. Using an adjustable spanner, release the holding nut on the tie rod end. Now, using a 19mm spanner and a 6mm Allen socket, release the holding lock nut on the tie rod. If you don't have a ball drain puller, take a hammer and hit the lock nut hard just at the end of the threading. The ball drain should move away from the pivot. Only tap on the tie rod end pivot if you're changing the tie rod end, otherwise you risk damaging the threading. Paying close attention to the point of reference, unscrew the tie rod end, counting the number of turns necessary to extract the tie rod end. Using calipers, measure the distance between the lock nut and the end of the tie rod axle joint. This will be needed during the reassembly process to get as close as possible to the original settings. With a flathead screwdriver, remove the internal metallic clip on the sleeve. With a cutter, cut the external part of the sleeve so that you can remove it. Remove the sleeve. Using a tie rod iron or extractor, a specific tool for carrying out this job, you can now loosen everything without difficulty. To do this, insert the tool up to the fixed part of the tie rod, then, with a socket wrench and a long extender, force it in an anti-clockwise direction. If the tie rod axle joint is equipped with marks, release them using adjustable spanners. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto site and in the link in the description. Take the new axle joint and unscrew the lock nut provided with it. Put in the steering cock housing. Still using the same tool or using an adjustable spanner, lock the tie rod axle joint, but in a clockwise direction this time. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Then remove the tool. Take the new sleeve. Grease the end as it will make it easier to put the sleeve on. We recommend putting screw clips on as access is really rather difficult when trying to use a specific tool. Tighten the clip, being careful not to exaggerate for fear of damaging the protective sleeve. Then, put the external clip in place. Screw the lock nut back on until the distance measured with the caliper is reached.
take the new tie rod end. Put the tie rod end back in place, making the same number of turns as counted during disassembly. Put the tie rod end into the pivot. Put the lug nut supplied with the new part in place. And tighten it using a 90mm wrench. A socket wrench and a 6mm Allen socket. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Screw the lock nut onto the tie rod end on the side of the tie rod axle joint. Then you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle, putting it back on the ground before properly fixing them in place. During this operation you will work on the steering system of your vehicle. Checks and tyre alignment, when carried out by a professional, will guarantee that your steering system has been perfectly aligned and is in good working order. Operation complete. Hello, if this video helped you, like and subscribe.